Hey everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about diapers, okay? Um, just a little advice for moms to be because I'm uh, going to be a mom again and if you guys know we spent a lot of money on diapers and this is going to be a little different from all the videos I've been making but uh, just a little bit of advice. Um, I've been trying uh, a few brand, popular brands that people are using and I want to tell you my wise advice about diapers okay um pampers huggies okay in order these are what i i prefer in order okay Pamp pampers huggies loves um up and up general dollar diaper and the last one would be parents choice okay i will not recommend parents choice to anybody um it broke out my baby uh, bottom. Uh, I left her for me to leave her in a uh, love diaper twice as long. It, I mean this, you know, if you leave the diaper on too long, it will probably break up. Like, if the baby poops, you gotta change it out right away. No question asked. Doesn't matter, you know, but um, it, um, the, the parent's choice broke out my baby. I do not recommend that at all, okay? Um, you can find better brand that uh, I don't know what's what's inside of it that but it's such a good price you know I, I wasn't going to invest so much money in diapers because why invest so much money in diaper or something that you're gonna throw away so um, I want to find the cheapest one that basically did all the tricks and so yeah the the, the parent choice broke my baby that was you know I got a box of that and then um, I just discontinue it I, I mean, I would not recommend that for anybody. But um, so the um, the Target and the General Dollar diapers are very compatible. They do the trick, but the General Dollar it's a little thinner. Uh, you would probably have to change off the di diaper um, more often. But compared to the Parents' Choice, the the Parents' Choice actually hold the pee and everything pretty good. It's just the rash that it gives. Uh, it holds the pee and it and it does it also it does a trick. Um, it's a little thicker than the general dollar one, so it would hold more pee. But then, um, with a rash, I wasn't up for that. It, it broke my baby up really bad. So, uh, so the parents, um, the general dollar plus the up and up is very compatible. The up and up is more. It's a little bit more soft, a little bit more thicker. Um, both of them, both of those diapers are, to me, okay, you can buy those when babies are little, uh, when they're not crawling yet, when they're like newborns or when they're not sitting, well, maybe when they're sitting up, but when they start crawling, those are not, or walking or whatever, moving a lot, I do not recommend those at all because those get really clumpy and it gets really droopy and it just disconnected and it just look all terrible like it's just like terrible i mean after they start sitting up i would not re recommend target or um uh, but otherwise at babies those are the cheapest ones that uh would be good for but i found another place which is on uh, amazon they sell really cheap diapers um my favorite brand that i've always been using is uh love okay um i know that parents choice is the uh pampers is the pampers is the best choice that you can get but is way too much money to be thrown away so um beside the noisiness and plasticky of this one this one does all the function um and it works really well a lot of people say it break out but i don't think that's the case i think it's because you don't change your baby out quick enough when they poop or P I don't know maybe it's I don't know maybe it, maybe there might be a perfume they're allergic to who knows but so far this is what I've been using and I love it and so I got a really good deal on this one um, on let go so I'm gonna switch it over to this one but uh, this is size 5 and this is size 4 and the huggy seems to be in the same size at size 5 as it is size 4 so technically you know, you're, you're even saving more with this. You know what I mean? Um, you're even saving more because you know how you get uh, less diapers as the diaper number gets up, right? And this is already expensive 
more than this one already. But uh, as it being the same size here, and the number is different, so technically, this is a better deal. So that's why I've been using this a lot. The reason why I uh, purchased this is I got a really good deal on Let Go. Okay, I got even a better deal. And it's just somebody that, that they outgrown and they're trying to get rid of it. And, and so that's why I purchased this. But normally at a store, I would not purchase it unless it's cheap as this or cheaper. If it's equally the same in cheapness, I would definitely go with this. But um, because this one is cheaper, I definitely go with this one. Um, the, the Pampers, I don't care for it because the price is way too high out of the picture. Okay, So um, it really aimed down to two of these. Um, I, would def I would definitely just use, I've been using this. I, I don't have problem with this. This is my favorite. Um, for, you know, people with uh, having problem leakage in that nighttime, because I know my baby don't poop or pee much because she doesn't eat or drink much, so I don't have much problem. But if your baby does that a lot, just what you want to do, one clever plan that, one clever thing that I did was I use a bigger size uh, at nighttime, which is size 5. Uh, and then in the daytime, I use size 4. So that way, you will have, instead of getting the overnight whatever, uh, and it costs more, if you buy the, the one that's um, overnight whatever, then it becomes too expensive. It becomes, you know, every every penny count because you're going to go through so much diapers. So you, instead of getting the overnight, special overnight diaper, just get a bigger size diaper and use that at nighttime. And, and uh, in the daytime, use a smaller number. So um, that way it'll, it'll cut, cut down a few more uh, costs and then you'll save more money. That's it. Winner. Second winner. These two. That's it, you guys.